Hi, I'm Andy Parker, and this unit is covering the modulus function. To access the resources for this unit, go to parkermaths.com forward slash y2 modulus. So, the modulus function is in the pure section of the course under algebra and functions. In this unit, we'll be looking at three key things. First of all, we're going to look at several different definitions of the modulus function. After that, we'll look at sketching graphs involving the modulus function. And finally, we'll look at solving equations and inequalities involving the modulus function. Before you start this unit, it's important that you're confident sketching straight line graphs. It's also helpful if you have a basic understanding of combining transformations. The checking questions for this unit are split into two tasks. The first task is a card matching activity. If you can, print and cut out the cards. Don't worry if you can't, you can still have a go at the task. Task two is a set of questions on solving equations involving the modulus function. If you have difficulties with either of these tasks, you might want to look at your flip learning notes from week 27 and week 28. Let's have a look at the two tasks in a bit more detail. Once you've cut out the cards, you should notice there are six graphs and 18 equations. You'll also notice that the scales are not labeled on the graphs. The reason for that is that some graphs will match up with more than one equation. And also you should find that some equations don't match up to any of the graphs. To complete the task, first of all, match the equations with the graphs. As we said, some equations won't match up to a graph. So for those equations, I'd like you to sketch the graphs. The answers to this task are on the checking page. Task two has a set of equations involving the modulus function to solve. This set of questions and also the answers are on the checking page.